Well, that was a really short gospel. I don't know who, who makes these selections and how they divide them up, but they should let me do it because it's some probably Monsignor over in the Vatican someplace, but you know, the whole context of this where Jesus is speaking is kind of important. And that little snippet didn't really give you the full picture. It takes place in the temple where Jesus is speaking about my sheep hear my voice. They know me. They hear my voice. They know me and I know them. But just a paragraph or two before that, it says, these things took place in Jerusalem at the Feast of the Dedication. It was winter. Jesus was walking in the temple in Solomon's portico. The Jews gathered around him and said, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, say so openly. So, the context is, Jesus is in the temple. He's walking through Solomon's portico, one of the sacred places of the temple. Solomon had been the one who had built the temple. And it says it was winter. Kind of a ominous little detail there that St. John recalls. And he puts it there in the Gospel. I think he's referring to it was winter in the temple for the temple. It was winter for the old ways for the Jewish rituals, for the Jewish way of doing things. It was the feast of the dedication of that temple where the temple had been reconsecrated after it had been um, desecrated years before by the pagans. And the Jews celebrated annually the rededication of that holy place. But we remember too that Jesus had to go into the temple and expel the money changers and say that my father's house should be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. And Jesus was speaking about how corruption had entered into the temple and by extension to the whole Jewish way of following God. And that's the context in which he's speaking. And the Jews there are challenging him well, if you are the Messiah, as you pretend to be, tell us so openly. And Jesus responds by saying, My sheep hear my voice. They know me. And I know them. They hear my voice because they're open in faith to the grace of God that's working in their hearts. And so the ones who have ears to hear do hear, but not the ones who are closed off. who shut their hearts down. Now let's jump to the first reading. Very different context. St. Paul and St. Barnabas are on a missionary journey, going around from city to city, preaching about the resurrection of Jesus, that He's the Messiah. And they come to the city of Antioch. And as they usually did, they went first to the synagogue of the Jews figuring that that was their base. They would preach there first about the Messiah, Jesus. But it seems that, as the Acts of the Apostle tells us, there were a number of followers of Paul and Barnabas who were converts, not from Judaism, but from other pagan religions. They had become Jews and followers of Jesus through Paul and Barnabas and their preaching about the resurrection. And so they came along with Paul and Barnabas into the synagogue where the usual crowd was there and Paul and Barnabas start preaching. And they met with hostility. They met with rejection. And even violent abuse, the Acts of the Apostle tells us. So Paul and Barnabas bring this gang of former pagans who now believe in Jesus into the synagogue 
And the people that are there in the synagogue find it disruptive to the point where they're jealous and angry. I don't know what that's like. Maybe it's like Easter Sunday when you come in and you find all these people you don't recognize in your pew where you usually sit and you say, what are these people doing here? That doesn't happen here. No. And they challenge St. Paul and they reject them. And St. Paul and St. Barnabas, they say, since you have rejected the Word of God, we will go on to the Gentiles and we will preach to them. Because it's those outside of Judaism that seem to be more open to the Word of God and to the voice of the Good Shepherd. Isn't that often the way? Isn't that often the way that those outside sometimes are more receptive? That they're more responsive to God's grace? Jesus says, I am the Good Shepherd. I know my sheep and they know me. They hear my voice. And I think Jesus means this in the context of going into the temple or St. Paul into the synagogue up in Antioch as a challenge to our tendency to get complacent. Our tendency to feel like it's, I'm good enough. I'm a good person. Right? And yet, the Lord doesn't come just to give us an attaboy and a pat on the back. Yeah, we can all use that from time to time. But He comes to challenge us to a deeper conversion. He comes to make us examine where the gap is between what He calls us to and where we are. And His true sheep listen to that voice and allow that to penetrate deep into our soul and stir our conscience So we put the question to ourselves, what is it the Lord's asking of me? What more does God want of me? Where am I falling short in my following Christ? But the person whose heart is closed says, who are you anyway? Prove to me you've got a right to speak to me. I'm already fine. I don't need to change. And they're content with their complacency. They're content with how things are going. Well, which are we? Which one are we? Are we the one who, like those pagan converts that St. Paul brought along, open and willing to listen, willing to change, willing to be transformed by the Word of God and listen to the voice of the Good Shepherd? Or are we like those in the synagogue who react negatively when they're challenged? Let's allow the Good Shepherd to speak inside our heart. To call us to something more. To not remain the same. But to be transformed by the power of God's grace.